In this lesson, we continue to work through this part to correct errors and identify trouble spots. Let's continue with the rollback bar. Now, the rollback bar has some options. You don't have to manually drag it down for each feature. You can navigate the rollback bar with the arrows on your keyboard. This is controlled by an option in Tools Options. So go to Tools, Options, Feature Manager, Arrow Key Navigation. This is the one that allows you to use the down arrow to move the rollback bar after it has initially been selected. The down arrow will move it down, the up arrow will move it up. So once the scroll back bar has been moved, now I can use the down arrow to roll back the part. The next error we encounter is fillet 6. This has an outright red X on it. Let's see what it says. The radius of the fillet is too large to fit the surrounding geometry. It may be too large because it cannot fit within a tightly curving face near a selected edge, or it would inappropriately eliminate an adjacent face. Try adjusting the input geometry and radius values, or try using the face fillet option. Well, let's take a look at the fillet and see what the problem is before we try any of that. Editing the feature, I can see that the fillet is way too large and that the edge that's selected should not be filleted at all. It's safe to say that this fillet can just be deleted. To delete a fillet, just select it from the feature manager and press delete on the keyboard. If the fillet has other features that are dependent upon it, then those features might also be deleted. In this case, there is nothing dependent on the fillet, and so we are okay to go ahead and just confirm the delete. Let's keep working through the model. Well, we notice here that fillet 1 is filleting these edges that we'd mentioned before. And the boss extrude 4 goes over the top of that, plus it has an error. Let's see what the error is. So in addition to red, yellow, black, and blue, we also have this brown color that you can find in sketches. The brown color is what we call dangling. Dangling relations happen when a sketch relation cannot find one of the entities in the relation. So for example, the circle is coincident with something on the edge that is removed by the fillet. So the circle can't find that entity and it goes dangling. There are three ways you can handle dangling entities. One is to delete the sketch relation altogether. And to do that, we just click on the circle, click on sketch relation icon, and press delete on the keyboard. That's one way to handle it. The other way is to reattach it. When you click on a dangling entity, you get a red dot. You can drag that red dot onto something else, and the relation will be reattached. Notice that the coincident relation up here has been changed to white instead of brown. Notice also the circle itself is changed to black instead of brown. In this case, that solution works, but it's not the one I'm looking for. I'm going to press Control Z to undo that fix. The third method that you can use to fix a dangling relation is to restore whatever is missing. So let's exit the sketch to do that. The sketch relation between the circle and a point along the edge of the boss was removed by the fillet feature. There are several ways to solve this problem, but the easiest way seems to be to grab the boss extrude 4 feature with the cursor and drag it before the fillet feature in the feature manager. Notice how this changes the geometry. Notice that it also fixes the error automatically. Let's edit the sketch and see what the error was. If I click on the circle, this coincident relation was between the circle itself and a vertex. And we can see that that vertex was right over here. 
So fillets have a way of removing edges and vertices that you might create relations to. For this reason, fillets should always go as far towards the bottom of the feature manager as possible. As you get more involved in SolidWorks, you will hear more and more talk about a concept called best practice. Best practice is basically a set of flexible suggestions that are meant to help you build models that are more flexible through changes. One of these best practice suggestions is to put your fillets last in the feature manager. When we come back in the next lesson, we'll continue working through this model.